Alright folks, welcome once again to Let's Play Kagero Deception 2. I'm Mysterious JG. We're killing everybody that we can, folks. So let's find out who we get to kill this time. Gil Bless the Knight. He's wearing glowing green armor. He's an alien freak. Rested control of the search mission from Oroch to prove himself to red blood. Valentin the Buddhist. Old comrade of Keith joins search to oversee Gibbales. Heals comrade stamina. Well, that's not going to last for long, but hey. And Oroch the Ninja. Detail-oriented, loyally obeys Keith's orders to share command of search. Alright, so let's uh, deal with these guys. This is the mission. In this mission, you know, probably try to kill everybody for the points, but in the next mission, we're going to have to make some decisions about who to kill if we want the story to go in the path that we choose. And so forth. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If anything at all happens, leave immediately. Something happened, I heard a noise. Got it, don't put yourself at risk. No, I won't. There's a weird looking place. This kind of is a weird layout here. Uh, you don't have a lot of missions in this place. Does this just count as regular water or acid? I thought I'd just dive in to find out. I'm nuts. Yeah, so we're in something like Timenoid Sarcophagus or something. Interesting. This place is probably brimming with deadly traps if I knew what I was doing. Whoa. It's interesting, there's this whole path, that you've got to go a really long way around before you get any freedom. Yeah, this place is like really linear, actually, compared to everywhere else. I think if you're trying not to let people get to the Grail, it can be quite difficult, because it can be easy to let them sort of get ahead of you, and, and then you just have to stop them from getting back out. I don't know, it's very linear, very linear, that's all I'm saying. So we're running around and waiting for mummies to pop out. Mummies alive! Unlike you. <laughs> and uh, this is probably the room where the battle's gonna go down. So let's uh, set some traps. Let's first of all, figure out where is the entrance. Oh, there's the entrance. It's a really weird layout to this place. Okay, there's like a guillotine blade. That's kind of cool. Let's see if we can figure out exactly where that is by trying to set traps. It's not right there. It's right there and there. That is one, two, three. Oh, man, see, how am I supposed to set anybody up to get hit by that? It's the wrong number of spots away from the door. So, instead, I'm just going to do the old uh, spring floor throw them. Hold on a second. Is this where it is, though? Maybe this will work. One, two, three. No, they're... they're it's not quite going to work. But I could definitely suck them in here. That would be pretty cool. Maybe just do a rising floor here so that it won't kill them dead. Maybe have some nice slow gas or something. And that way, if he stumbles, if he stumbles towards me, I can suck him up with a magnet, and hopefully, he can get hit by that thing. Because I like to use those occasionally. There's people being tortured somewhere in the background. A girl. Ugh. A criminal boy is supposed to be brave. He can't take me, I'll be giving the captain good news. Apparently that floor didn't hurt him too much, but um did hurt him. Chop him up, Blade, come on! Yes! <laughs> Nice. Now keep sucking a Magnet. What? You can't be done yet, Magnet. I'm not ready for you to be finished. 
Now he's gonna come after me some more. Great. Oh well. There goes my perfect health bonus for this level. Thanks to his jumping around like a weirdo, I am not gonna get perfect health here. Cut him again, Blade of Death. You missed. What's your deal, Blade of Death? How could you miss him? I am angry at you, Blade of Death. Oh well, let's uh, head towards the next room. He'll probably follow us. No other way for him to get out of here, after all. This is a neat looking room. This is like one of the coolest looking areas in the game, but I'm pretty sure that you can't do a whole lot. That guy's hanging out at the entrance. How am I going to kill him? Well, anyway, let's set traps. Um, I don't know where there's devices in this room. Maybe we can look for some. Okay, that is a device. Let's uh, do the old... Volt magnet. Judge... No, let's do... Um Let's do a spring floor into a volt magnet into judgment, so I get more combo points. One, two, three, four. And then our good friend, the iron ball, on his head. Just for the fun of it, let's be like all the way on the other end of the room, ready to leave. I don't even know where this thing is going to go. Come on through, buddy. There's a good boy. Who's a good knight? Who's gonna get killed? Come on, drop rock from the sky and destroy you. Yeah, 50 damage. 158 R3 hit combo. I've heard that a very powerful girl is here somewhere. Wait, what? And you didn't react when you saw the super creepy girl in the super slinky outfit? Where is everyone? I can't just leave. I have to find them. And die. Okay, so now he's gonna move my way, probably. But hey! Big old room full of uh, places to set traps. Let's start setting traps. Ooh, scary. Tynoid Sacred Place is um, kind of creepy. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Yeah, I know it gets old after a while, folks, but it's effective. Dang effective. Meanwhile, I want to check out this room. What's going on in here? Uh, not a whole lot. This must be like a starting room for some kind of mission. Almost ran right into a scything blade of death. Scything blade of death, I should say. Since that's an actual word and scything isn't. Come on, Buddhist or ninja, whoever's coming my way. And now nobody's coming in this direction. Fantastic. Oh, you jerks. Now, Red Ahead and the fact for making sure I got the endings right. Keep getting little hints and tips that I probably didn't need and shouldn't have gotten. But one of them is that the enemies here are going to try to run away uh, after I encounter them, most likely. So if I want to get the points for killing them, which I don't need to do, because that's not I'm not going for the kill everyone ending, so I don't absolutely have to kill them. But, um... Oh, Ninja. A girl. A groom of boards supposed to be brave. Is she the one from the castle? What the... He wasn't even there, and now he's... How am I supposed to stop him from getting out? That doesn't seem fair. He was not, like, even close to that room a minute ago. He just teleported over there? Alright, one, two, one, two, three, four. If 
he doesn't escape automatically, which I believe he's about to do. I'd like to butcher her, but we have other orders. Bullshit! He just... I didn't even get to hit a button before he was gone. That's bullshit. Alright, so my perk of this perfect genocide bonus is already hosed. Am I even going to have time to get this guy before he escapes? Doesn't even look like it now. Jeez. Boo! People are surviving. That's not fair. That's not how the game's supposed to work. One, two, three, four. And an iron ball. Here. That doesn't make me happy at all. People surviving. It's just not cool. I should have let them get farther into the castle. Are you the notorious castle witch? Yeah, pretty much. Yes, but we've been ordered to avoid battle at all costs. So he's going to try to escape, and that pisses me off, too. You shouldn't have stopped to shoot at me, buddy. You really should not have stopped to shoot at me. <laughs> oh, almost got him pilled there. Spike up the butt, almost. He's still alive. I'm impressed. But he shouldn't have stopped shooting me again. Ah, crap. anything is going to be able to kill him at this point, so, um, one, two, three, four. <laughs> I'm just an innocent little witch hunt, and I've been stopped, crap. I think that killed him. Yeah, he had one hit point left. That's impossible. How could I have had one hit point left? I didn't get to kill the ninja because of complete bullshit, but otherwise that mission went pretty well. No life bonus, no perfect genocide bonus. JG, you get nothing from this mission. You suck. Everyone got smashed by iron balls or catapulted by attack walls, though, so that's good. I don't think I even have enough to buy the Volt Rock after talking about having the Volt Rock for this next mission and how silly that would be. I don't even have it. Wrap. Oh well. Why do you guys live in a basement? Is your mom upstairs saying, Honey! Come on up for dinner! Did you hear from the search party? Wait, that's not, that's Dr. Roxo. Slash, slash. You hear from the search party yet? Yes, sir. They said there's a girl in the ruins, but some of the search party were killed by her. This doesn't look good for us. I wanted to avoid confrontation until we get our hands on the Tarnoid Grail. I don't want to lose any more Red Blood members, especially when our true mission is to destroy the Tarnoids, and there's no guarantee we can defeat her. But, Captain, do you think she'll simply let us go? She's even killed some of the search party members. Should have killed all of them, but that damn ninja cheated. I have little hope. But we need to find the Grail first. This is the Red Blood's most important mission. I'm going to the ruins too. Roger. Our mission is to obtain the hidden secret of the time. Oh, great. Oh, damn, I tried to read ahead. I think ahead, and I, just, I couldn't 
figure out what this game is up to and ahead of time, but it's not that slick. Exciting close-ups of characters who don't talk. Ether. The Grail must hold the secret of the Time Lord's creation. When we unlock the secret, we'll be able to justify our fight against the Time Lords and gain the support of all humans. Wait, so you like can fight? You're, you can't even justify this fight to yourselves, and you're still fighting. It. Whatever. It's a, his girlfriend just disappeared from the story. Basically, I guess like if you kill her, she's obviously gone. But they decided, eh, we're not gonna keep her around either way. When we get the Grail, people will join us in our fight. Against the Timenoids! Exactly. But oh, I started to, uh. lisp there for a minute, Thori. But as you know, the girl who killed Gerald and the others now protects the ruins. She is the Timenoid secret warrior, and she can't easily be killed. Unless you're that one guy who does flying body attacks. <laughs> we have to confront her sooner or later. The priority is the Grail, not the girl. We must avoid losing any more men. Ladies, I don't care about in this fight with her. Alright, I'm a little miffed that I didn't get to kill that ninja, but I don't really feel like redoing that whole mission. So, let's just roll with it. Again, if people want to see it, I'll do another playthrough where I kill everyone to get the other the, that ending. Because I think from here, if I keep a safe state at chapter 17, uh, there's like 26 chapters in the game. So I've got a decent chunk of replaying I'd have to do for... But I can uh, pretty much um, get the other endings. I think. Because there's... See, there's two endings where you... Alright, there's the ending where you kill everyone, which doesn't really count. There's two endings that you get if you uh, let somebody discover the Grail, I think. And then there is a different ending if you don't let anyone discover the Grail. I think. I'll have to look that up. But either way, that's going to be it for this video, folks. When we come back, uh, I don't have enough money to buy the last trap that I want. Or do I? Maybe I do. It was over 7,000. But how much over 7,000 was it? It was exactly 7,000. So yes, we can buy the Volt Rock. All right. Now, I don't care about that ninja one way or the other now. We've got Ultimate Weapon. Volt Rock. It's just a rock that has electricity in it. It seems like kind of a stupid weapon, if you tell you the truth, but it does a ton of damage. Electric rock knocks victims down and can electrify water. Nice. Now we've got fewer arc than I think we've ever had at any previous point in the game. But still, who cares? We've got Bolt Rock. We're going to use Bolt Rock when we come back, folks. Although, i going to let somebody discover the grail or the game's just not going the direction we want. Um, so, bear with me, folks. We're almost there, I guess. Sort of, kind of. See you next time.